Hey guys, and welcome back to the Spruce and Linen channel. I'm Janelle, and today I'm going to show you how to weave dots. It's kind of like a polka dot looking texture, and it's really easy, so let's get started. This video is brought to you by the Spruce and Linen shop, where you can find weaving looms, kits, tools, and supplies. Link in the description box below. Like I said, this is a super easy pattern to create in your weaving. It just uses plain weave, so it's very, very easy, but it has a really neat look. To get started, I'm going to do two rows of plain weave with this white yarn. After you have done two rows of the off white, you're going to grab a contrasting color. This can be as contrasting or as similar to the color you want, but obviously the more contrasting the yarn is, the more that pattern is going to come through. Now that we have our two rows of the off-white yarn, we're going to go ahead and go in with plain weave with our contrasting color. So I'm just going opposite of what the previous row was, so we're continuing on with our plain weave. Then you can go back in with two more rows of your first yarn. Now keep in mind here, because these two rows, this last off-white row and this row are the same, you need to make sure that your tail kind of goes through this loop to keep it all in place. Now we're going to go back in with our contrasting yarn. And then you can go ahead and do two more rows of the off-white yarn. So in this case, make sure your contrasting yarn is kind of sitting up like this because we are going over this string again. And then again, this is kind of locking everything into place. Now this is one of those stitches that you're going to want to beat down pretty hard. It's very similar to pick and pick, but instead of kind of that stripey look or the, I guess, diamond look, it's going to be these dots. So again, we are just alternating two rows of off-white and one row of our contrasting. So you can see here, if I just left this like this, this end is going to be a little wonky. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit and we're going to fish this yarn so that it's kind of going through this loop so that it kind of holds everything a little nicer on the sides. Now you can kind of start to see that nice little dot pattern coming through. And it's such a simple one, but it really does add some pretty texture to your weaving. So again, because we're going over again, I'm going to go under our contrasting yarn here before I start this row so that it kind of locks that string into place again. And that is weaving dots. I love how this pattern is sort of reminiscent of that sort of dot pattern you would see in knitted sweaters. And I think it's very simple, but very pretty. All right, you guys, so there is the finished product for how to weave dots. Like I said, super easy way to add a little bit of texture to your next weaving. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell to get notifications when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Well, you guys, I get a lot of questions when I do these videos about um, the tools that I'm using. So obviously the ones that have spruce and linen engraved in them, it's pretty obvious um, that these are weaving tools that we sell and I actually make myself currently. And um, the tapestry needles I also make. So these are made all by me. I hand sand them for you um, to a very buttery smooth finish. I love them. They're about seven and a half inches long and they just fit really nice in your hand and they're very good for a number of projects. Um, and I just find that they have a nice span 
Again, they feel really good in your hand and they do have plenty of room in that eye. I'll just show you here in the top down. They have plenty of room in that eye to accommodate for really thick yarns. So they're just a really great um, frame loom weaving tapestry needle.